Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jack Specific Sonic the Hedgehog 4 inch Big the Cat. In this case you'll notice that he's already opened but that's because it's a figure I actually have for a while now but I'm just now getting into reviewing. But I still have the box so let's take a look at the box first. And so here we have the box. Again, it's not in the best shape. I just recently moved, so and the box did go through a lot. But you can see I even fit the blister back into the box. I tried to do that with my Sonic fingers. Here we have a look at the back. It's big with some rings. It's 12 points of articulation. And the other figures of that way, which include Sonic, and the Knuckles, which I, I think it's the same one I actually already have because of the accessory Chaos. The first ever Chaos figure, and of course Big Cat. Here's a quick description. Though a gentle giant, Big is not afraid to fight for his friends if they are in danger. That's pretty much it for the box, but now, let's take a look at the figure itself. And so, here we have Big the Cat. And I must say, it's wild to see Jack Specific do this character because, well, before Big was pretty much considered just a joke character, a meme character. So to see Jack Specific do a figure on him is crazy. I believe this is the second ever Big the Cat figure. I believe the first was done by a now defunct brand called Resaurus, which I'm not even sure that figure actually released. It's extremely rare. So technically, this is the first. I guess widely available Big the Cat figure. I think it's a good moment to do a figure now because the character now is perceived as a meme. Therefore, people like him in a more ironic way now, so he kind of now has more fans than he did all those years ago. But this figure is actually really good. First off, the head sculpt looks really good. He's very large, of course, very wide. The face has been nailed out really well. The torso, I really like the way that they did the belt, the gloves. The sandals, I believe he's he and Takala are the only side characters that wear sandals, but besides that, it's a really cool figure. The paints are really nicely applied, though in this case the stripes are actually molded, so it's nice. Here is a look at the back, his large tail, and there he has all the information. Made in China, that, again, I really like the way that this figure sounds, and he's heavy in fact, he's actually kind of heavy. And, but he was still $10, like all the other Sonic figures, which is impressive given that he's so large, so bulky, that they easily could charge $15 for him, or even $20, because of how, how much plastic he has. But he's still very affordable. But now, let's take a look at the articulation. Well, gotta go fast! Now, for the articulation, the box says that it's 12 points. First off, he has movement out of the hell, though it's kind of limited due to the way that his body is built, the way that his back spikes are attached, and especially the way that the fur is built. He has movement out of the arms, out of the elbows, out of the wrists, out of the leg, although of course the legs are very short, and even some movement here at the foot. It's, in this case, I'm surprised that he has that much articulation. You'd think he has a waist joint. Like, I don't know, there's just something about the way that he's built that looks like he has a waist joint, but he doesn't. In this case, I think this is a really good amount of articulation for such a, such a heavy character. So I'm actually surprised that he's all that poseable. But that's going to be pretty much it here for the articulation. Now, for the accessories, this is the only disappointing part of this figure. He only includes two rings. These are nicely done, but I kind of wish they were golden. They look kind of cheap just being yellow. But my problem is that, well, if you know Big the Cat, you know that he goes fishing. He should have a fishing rod. And the most important part, where's his best friend Froggy? I mean, I'm not sure if Rosaurus did Froggy, but I definitely remember that... Big came with his fishing rod, but here he doesn't come with that. I get that he's a very large figure and that, well, again, I'm surprised they could even, they could still charge $10 for him, not more. But yet, I'm just confused on why not make Froggy, and I researched and I could not find any proof that Jack Specific did like a 2.5 inch Froggy later on. It would be cool if they did that, if they made 2.5 inch Froggy and included the fishing rod sort of like a compliment pack. Too big, but no. And so far, this is the only big they've done. This figure so far has not been reissued, although it's a very recent release, just I believe six months ago. So he's still fairly new, so I don't think they're going to re-release him anytime soon. 
but it would be cool to include his fishing rod at some point, or maybe have like another character, a smaller character, include his fishing rod, but I don't know, I really hope they do it someday. The two rings are okay, but they're not very exciting. They're very, very small. It's now for some size comparisons. Here we have Big alongside the Jack Specific 4 inch Sonic, Shadow, Tails, and Knuckles. And again, just to give you an idea how big he is, you can tell that he's, of course, the widest character, the largest, and so far, he's still one of the largest Jack Specific Sonic characters done so far. And the fact that he's still $10 like all these other characters is insane. In this case, the other characters come with slightly larger accessories, big only comes with two rings. But again, I think this is a really good example of the Jack Specific Sonic line doing good scaling. It's a really good figure, and again, it's just crazy seeing Big the Cat, because usually when companies can do Sonic figures, they just do like the, the main characters, again, okay, the ones we have here, maybe Amy, at most Eggman and Silver, and kind of just forget about everyone else. So to see Big the Cat into the line is really cool. It's just cool to see these more obscure Sonic characters getting attention. But that's going to be pretty much it for these size comparisons. So overall, Jack Pacific's 4-inch Big the Cat is a really solid figure. Literally, he's very heavy. And I actually really do like this figure. I'm not that big of a Big the Cat fan, although I do kind of like the character, find him a bit charming. But it's so crazy just seeing this character in, in a modern action figure. I picked this guy up at Target a while ago, but just seeing this character in plastic is crazy because, again, He's treated like a meme character nowadays, but back then he was not all that popular. Again, Rosaurus, I believe, was the only one to do a figure before. And with other Big the Cat merchandise, the only thing I could find was that Jazzwares had made a Big the Cat plush, but that was cancelled. You can go and look that up online. But again, seeing Big finally get some attention is really cool. I get my only problem is that he doesn't come with the fishing rod, he doesn't include Froggy. But I get that because of how large the figure is, they probably would have to bump up the price to include that. I'm just surprised how this guy was literally cramped onto the packaging. Other characters like tons of space, but this guy took the entire box. It's crazy, he's very large and I think that's really cool. The articulation is really good as well, they do the best they can with how dense the character is, the only point, extra point they could have added was a waist joint, but let's be honest, none of the Jack Pacific Sonic characters have a waist joint. In fact, I don't think ever since Jazzware Sonic characters have had waist joint. But besides that, he's a really fun figure, and if you like Pick the Cat, it's a figure I highly recommend. This is one of my favorite examples of Jack Pacific giving love to obscure Sonic characters, and I really hope they keep doing it for a long time. But that's going to be pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this figure. And that's it. Thanks for watching.